Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Welcome to a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up your Next Level Racing HF8 haptic feedback seat cushion using SimHub. We're doing it in SimHub because the Next Level Racing software for the seat is not the greatest. Uh, it tends to cut out, comes and goes, but if you um, set the motors, calibrate them with SimHub, uh, it seems to be flawless and it works really well, really nicely uh, in your racing games. And I have it set for F122 and iRacing. And all we do for this is we just come down the left hand side to the Shake It Motors section. And we click on that. And you can see that I have uh, a profile already here for HF8. So how did I set it up? So what I did is I first went to motors output here and I found force field pad, which is the next level racing HF8 haptic gaming pad. And I connected it and turned it on. So that's step one. Now you can also drop down the menu here on it and it gives you the same type of uh, kind of calibration settings as you get in the next level racing uh, HFS software where you can set which motors are going to vibrate for which effects. So I've kind of done a little profile for myself here and then I go over to effects profile and here I can add all the different effects that I want. And you can see I have road vibration, road rumble, road impacts, wheel lock, traction control active, ABS active, gear shift, acceleration g-force, deceleration, speed, simulated road texture, I go down to RPMs, and there's also jump landing, but I don't have that one turned on. All the rest I have turned on. I've set them all, pretty much all, at, at 100% for the moment. If I want to add another effect, I just go up here and click it, and I can choose another effect that maybe I haven't added, like maybe a lateral g-force if I wanted to do that. Uh, but I don't want to do add anymore, so I'm just going to cancel that. And then once I've done that, I just go into my profiles manager and save it. So it's, it's saved as a profile. It's going to be my default profile. I use it in any of the racing games that I have. I just click load and there it is. It's already loaded, but there it is. And it's all ready to go. So now all I have to do is just go back to my games setting and I just have to launch whatever game I'm playing, whether it's F122 or iRacing, you just have to launch it through SimHub. And it's as simple as that. And your HF8 will work beautifully for you. Left. One minute fourteen.